All right, here we are. We've uh, just made it to Tutukaka. Um, I'm just waiting for Nick to turn up. Um, we're going to go out for a couple of days. We're going to go up to Cape Brett. Um, yeah, hopefully catch a marlin. Nick's had a bit of a good run on the last few trips. Uh, he's caught a 20 pound snapper, which is 25.5 pounds, and a swordfish. So uh, hopefully we can get him onto a uh, marlin today. Whew. Here he is, the man himself. What's going on, bro? Whew, looking suave. Ready to go catch a marlin? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Sweet. Bit of a supply run. A last minute. How's you going? Good. Got the goods. Got, Got the, the goods. goods. All right. That'll make the snapper bite, without a doubt. Island Northern. Yeah. That's what Maddie reckons anyway, eh? A bit washy coming out too. Yeah. A few uh, waves coming through. Lots of white wash. But uh, the forecast get better and better. So, um, yeah. Fingers crossed this is what happens. Because Nick gets seasick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, we just got out into the blue water, uh, not quite blue yet, but pretty close, 150 metres, just north of the Knights. Um, got the riggers up, um, I've actually pre-arranged my lures already, I've got a little drawer here. Um, and so I wrap the lures up, and they are all in order of where I wanted to run them. So, i um, run a few new lures, lures that I haven't run before, so there you go, there's one there, it's going to be my shotgun. Um, 180 pound um, fluorocarbon leader and um, as I go through then it goes rig long rigger, short rigger uh, makes it really easy to set up, you'll see it here so there you go, next couple of lures so yeah, oh well, let's see what happens the hooks are not the right way, I run them with uh, probably about a 15 degree offset and that's going to be my shotgun for this trip, or for today anyway Pin Phantom, um, the yellow fin tuna on uh, this reel last season. I haven't had any extra on yet. Um, we're running 15 kilos, so it could be a bit of fun for Nick. Just over here that's got um, a couple of marlin on it. Um, they're feeding on the surface but we're unable to get a bite so far. Got a third lap on it uh, but there's definitely a couple of fish on it so fingers crossed we get a bite. So there's a bait ball right there, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. Big ball of fish. Heard it up tight as there's a marlin underneath it. Wow come on! Come on marlin! Come on marlin! Yeah, so we don't have any liveies, but we've got we've got some pilchards. So um, we're just gonna fucking chuck a pilch in the bait ball and see what happens. Yes, yes! chuck that pilch in, bro. Chuck it in, it's right there, mum, right here. Drop it back more, free yep. free spool it, free spool it, free spool it, free spool it. Oh, it's right there, the right marlin's right underneath us. Right there, right there, right there. Marlin's right underneath us. Oh, it's right here, all it up. Look at that. Oh, right here, the marlin right here. Woohoo! Come on. Where'd the bait ball go? It's probably hiding under the boat somewhere. Oh, there's, there's a marlin right there.
Yeah, yeah, let, let it go still go, see what happens. <laughs> Way back there, to Marlon, brother! <laughs> <laughs> One in front, let's go back around too much. Yeah, so um, the pin fathom um, that we're using, uh, we just shot a 15 kilo rod, we're running a 15 kilo top shot, 50 meters, and 80 pound pin slammer braid. Um, we've been connected to this fish for a little bit of time now, but it's a real compact, um, small reel, it's actually perfect for doing this kind of fishing, especially for striped marlin, it might be interesting if we get a blue, <laughs> but hey, we got a... Got to get this stripey first. I'm just going to chase it down now, so um, I'll tune out for a little bit. That is the uh, Pen Ocean Assassin Rod, fully rolled, 15 kilo. Um, loading up on this fish. It's loaded up quite well, actually. How's that not? How's it to use, Nick? It's quite nice and smooth, eh? Yeah, nice. As well. Yeah. So yeah, there's a sick angle there of it. Yeah, there's the marlin right there. It's first marlin for the trip, about an hour in. Nice little fish. Beautiful fish actually, beautiful fish. Righty who? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's the next marlin. Chicken boxes, chicken boxes. Yeah. Nice spicy little fish. Guess I've got a water footage of that. That's sick. Get his hooks out of him. Get his hooks out of him, we'll let him go. Great. So um, let's let this one go, eh? There you go, mate. Another day to go. We need good bloody snapper bait, but there he goes. Yeah, hey, look at that. Woo hoo 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 hoo! Well good. Ba ba ba! On the fathom again! 15 kilos! Woo! Oh, that's light gauge. Yep, oh, well, that's uh, my first failure of a light gauge. We just. <laughs> We just dropped another fish and uh, that's what the result was. Hooked up in the bay. Uh, we got a couple of sea lines. These are home kill from next farm. Alright, beautiful sun, sunrise here. Got a few sausages on the go. Uh, yeah, pretty awesome afternoon yesterday. About three hours trolling and hooked three fish. Um, Got a few snap last night, so we'll probably fill it those up and clean the boat up a little bit, and then um, we'll get into it. Hopefully, um, put a tag in another fish today. Me. All right, so that's where we slept last night. Um, had those, so they um, drop down into full length bunks. Um, it actually makes quite a good sleeping area in there. Like Nick's pretty tall. How tall are you, Nick? Uh, six two. 6'2", were you fully stretched out? Pretty much, yes. Yeah, yep. man. Oh. Sausages and steak for breakfast. Just uh, tidying up a few fish, filling in a few fish. And then hopefully go out and catch another marlin. That's the plan, next on coffee duty. So, um, yeah, I'll have a latte, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> down
Grab that bow. Grab that bow. Grab that bow. Yes. All right, bro. Dropped him and got this one. Yeah Just dropped one version, hooked another one. Hooked up again, this is our third bite for the day. Uh, took the short corner. We came in, knocked, uh, knocked the long corner out, and then knocked the short corner out, and then yeah, now it's just gone tight on it. So, got the line out, so we'll be chasing down. Neck on another marlin. Little one took the side. Yeah, look at that. There's another one. <laughs> Man. Another one bites the dust. That's in the corner of the mouth. Yeah. Dirty. All right, I'll get you photos if you are fit. All right, I'll put this down. <laughs> Sweet.